WPBT Channel 2, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and the Palm Beaches. Because you said goodbye If you think it's over I'll tell you why My wife left me. Our marriage got off to a kind of a bad start. On our wedding night, she brought a note from her mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I should tell you. I'm not a virgin. So you're just incompetent, then? <laughs> Can't you at least pretend you're enjoying this? Haven't I always? How does it feel to be married, Mrs. Taylor? I don't know yet. <sighs> my wife left me. She said I thought more about my work than her. Or was that my boss? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for seeing me home. Actually, no, this is where I live. Um, Claire. I thought Claire was the redhead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I've been burgled. This isn't your flat. And they thought I wouldn't notice. Would you like to sit down? Oh, that's cute. You've got little animals on the wallpaper. Oh, no. It's me. Did you say something? I just wondered if you wanted to sit down. And what did you think? How about some coffee? A lot. Are you saying I'm drunk? Are you saying I drink too much? I think I just heard your liver ask for a transplant. No way am I drunk. Listen, buddy. I pulled three guys tonight. Firstly, I didn't say you were drunk. I just offered you coffee. And secondly, I'm one guy. Oh, there goes the evening. Sorry. I can't believe it. I was seen triple. And you're not even the one I liked. <laughs> Don't want you to think I make a habit of this. I'll get the coffee. Is this room sort of permanently spinning? No. You're right. It isn't my flat. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Mark. Are you awake? Huh? Darling, what's wrong? Nightmare? I don't... Oh, never mind. I've got an idea. Again? <laughs> I really came there. That was my best ever. <laughs> no, that was the doorbell. So I've got low standards. You try screwing men for a while. <laughs> Back in a moment. Didn't do a thing, honestly. It's just a damn doorbell. Joke's over. I'm coming. <laughs> An idiot comes round this time of night. Uh, look, this isn't actually a very good time. Oh, Mark, I'm ever so sorry. I'm a complete silly. Bye. Hey, no, wait. What's this? I was just looking for somewhere to stay. Robert threw me out because he wants a divorce. A divorce? Mm. Must be off. Well, why does he want a divorce? Because of what happened between you and me, Mark. Oh, God, that was all my fault. You know, my little boy won't talk to me now. Robert told him about, well, what happened between you and me. Oh, right, yeah, that was all my fault, Tracy. I was going to go to Becky's, but she's turned against me because of what's happened. Yeah, okay, 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 it's all totally my fault. I get the message, but why don't you go to your mother's? She died last summer. Look, I was nowhere near your mother. <laughs> I mean, the point is, yeah, you can't stay here. You know, what if Robert came and found out? He'd, he'd oh. make things worse with him. Well, thanks anyway. You've been ever so kind. You do understand that, don't you? You don't have to wait for the lift with me, Mark. I feel guilty as hell about this, Tracy, but, you know, if, if Robert came and saw no you here... I need to feel guilty. I know a place I can stay the night. Are you sure? If you could just leave a light on at your bathroom window so I can read a bit. Oh, Tracy, I can't do this to you. Oh, stop fussing. Life can be hard. I learnt that when I was six and my puppy died. Oh, Christ. <laughs> 
Come on, Tracy, you're staying with me. Oh, Mark, I'm going to make you so happy. Oh, right. I knew from the moment we made love we'd be together forever, didn't you? Well, it was quite nice. You took the words right out of my mouth. I uh, look, Tracy, listen, I... I just knew I'd die if you said you didn't love me. What, immediately? <laughs> Let's make love again. Right now. Oh, it's a bit drafty out here. Inside, Mark. I think I need a bit of foreplay. Oh, you mean inside the flat? No, 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 wait, 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 Tracy. I'd I, I better explain something. You do love me, don't you? Oh, yes, of course. I couldn't bear it if you didn't. I do, yes. Sincerely. But the thing is, you see, I, I, I've, I've got a friend round at the moment. A woman friend. A woman? Well, I assume she is. I haven't actually checked. <laughs> I, I think she mentioned something about it. You mean you and her? Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're just friends. Honestly, nothing of a sexual nature has happened between us. And never will, I promise. Damn. Oh, Yes! Yes! <laughs> I mean, obviously, we care about each other. <laughs> I should have a key here, somewhere. She sounded a bit worked up, Mark. Oh, I expect it's nothing. But uh, just in case she's feeling a bit ill or something, I'd better go ahead and check. Back in a moment. Mark! Now, we're going to have to pretend nothing's going on here because... Where's your dress? I forget. Oh, Christ, we've got to find it. What's happened? Who's at the door? Well, it's, um... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's my wife. I'm, I'm married. Married? But you were only gone a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> this date going badly? Now, you see, I, I was already married, and my wife's just come back. Oh, oh, what's happening? I'm going to let her in, okay? Just say you're a friend. Just tell her you've spilt something on your clothes and you're drying them off. Who's going to believe that? I don't believe it, and I'm drunk! <laughs> oh, dear. Did you spill something on your clothes? <laughs> I am drunk. Oh, she's always like this. That must be so much cheaper. <laughs> well? What? Introduce me. All oh, right, yes. Uh, Tracy, this is my old friend. It isn't Claire. Uh, well, that's a start. Drink, darling. So, you're his wife, huh? Oh, darling! Not yet, but watch this space. I'll just unpack. What space? Behind her eyes, possibly. <laughs> Look, I, I'm sorry about this, but you're going to have to go. What now? Are my clothes drying? No, 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 listen. Enough talking. We've got rid of the Cindy doll. Let's do bad stuff. No, no, no you don't understand. It's a very awkward situation. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, perfect. What happened? You were fantastic. Good. <laughs> right. Tracy, we need a long, serious talk. Tracy, we need a long, serious talk. Tracy? Yes, Mark? <laughs> Has your friend gone off? A bit, yes. Good. Come on, then. Look, Tracy, I'm sorry. Look, it isn't that I'm not tempted. I mean, God knows I'm tempted, but there comes a time when even a completely shallow bastard like me has got to try and do the right thing. So, what you and I are going to do now, Tracy, is have a long, serious talk. I bet you never heard it called that before. <laughs> Are you awake? You bet. Oh, just wondered. Uh, uh, uh. No, you don't. You're my husband. It's compulsory now. Again? Again. I just had a thought. No, that was the doorbell. <laughs> what if Robert's followed me here? Robert! Don't answer the door! Oh, darling, what if he tries to take me away from you? Well, can't he wait? I mean... Oh, don't be naughty! We're together forever now. Nothing can part us. What, nothing at all? Only death can take me from you. Yeah, but it would look a bit suspicious. <laughs> 
You're not going to let him in? I wasn't going to. I was just, um, going to the bathroom. Oh, right. OK. But, Mark... Yes? Hurry back. We've got the rest of our lives to get on with. Oh, yes. That. <laughs> you can have her, Robert. You can absolutely have her. What would you do if I ever left you? Sleep. <laughs> I'm serious. What kind of a question's that? I just want to know if you really love me. Hell of a time to ask. Well? If I ever lost you, I'd do everything in my power to get you back. First chance I got. Come in. You're not busy or anything. Ah. Uh, you are busy. Oh, no, not at all. No, I think the kitchen's still free. <laughs> what? Oh, come in, come in. Uh, coffee? If I can make it. So, uh, does Trevor know you're here? We're not talking. He's still convinced it was you and me in that bed, not you and Tracy. Oh, dear. Look, don't get your hopes up. Nothing's going to happen between us tonight. If you think there's the slightest chance of it, I'm leaving now. No, no, nothing's going to happen. I understand that. I do. Good. Because I came here for one reason. To have a long, serious talk. I've never heard it called that before. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 that was a joke. Uh, honestly, sex could not be further from my mind. A long, slow talk. I mean, screw. I mean, chat. <laughs> Discussion. Intercourse. Uh, whatever it is you want, you, you want a long, hard one. <laughs> sex doesn't get further from your mind than this. Sorry, sorry. Look, get it into your head. I'm only here because I have always wanted us to stay friends. I thought that maybe we could get rid of some of the bad feeling between us. It was just a few slips of the tongue, mouth. <laughs> the slips you only ever make when you can't stop thinking about something else, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Look, I thought that tonight there was a chance we could stop sniping at one another and make love. And make up! <laughs> right, coffee? Becky? You said, uh, what was that about slips of the tongue? Nothing. I just need a refill. For the kettle. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Coffee. Becky? So, how's Tracy? I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, she's fine. Yes, uh, actually, I, I better just go and check on something. Mark, hmm? if we could just manage without the stupid come-ons, OK? Then? Then we can have some coffee. I'm in with a shot. I've actually got a chance here. I just need to be charming and nice. <laughs> Shh! Mark, is that you? Shh! Mark! Will you be quiet? Sorry. I just thought I heard something. Oh, you're reading. Well done. I mean, good idea. <laughs> Mark, you were taking so long. I'm sure I heard voices just there. Really? Oh, it must be a very vivid book. I'm sure I heard shouting. Oh, I expect you just turned to the wrong page. Oh, I see. Come on, then. In you jump. The sooner we get started. Uh, no, actually, uh, not just yet. I, um, I just popped out to tell you I'm going to be a little longer in the bathroom than I expected. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just Something just came up. Mm, what? Oh, it was nothing. Just, uh, you know, uh, men's problems. Men's problems? Yes, exactly. You wouldn't want to know about it. What's men's problems? Look, do we ever ask? <laughs> <laughs> We're on edge at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, just, 
Now, it's this, this bedroom, it's got some bad memories for me. Oh, poor baby. You know, it's difficult. Mm. Well, you hurry up in there and we'll make some good memories. We'll have oodles and oodles of sex, won't we, Poppet? Yes, Tracy. <laughs> Come along, then. Thank you. I'm going to have to hide. My wife just got back. Again? How long have I been here? Mark! Hide! Huh? Yes? What? It's okay. Found it. You've changed everything around in here. Yeah, well, my wife just left me. As you know, obviously. Right, yes. Yeah. Well, shall we go through to the lounge? The lounge? Why not? It's a bit of a walk, isn't it? But there aren't any chairs in here. I know. You took them. You've got nothing to sit on. Well... Oh, I'll go and get some chairs from the lounge. If we go through to the lounge to get chairs, we might as well sit on them there. You see, it was worth talking it through. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You. Look, I'm just as confused about all this as you. Maybe it's because things aren't going well with Trevor. Maybe I'm just a bit jealous about you and Tracy. Why don't you kick me out? I never know if you're going to be in long enough. Shall we talk? I was about to say, it can't hurt. Look, just don't think this is a chance to get me back into bed. I don't want any sleazy come-ons, OK? Understood. Absolutely. Have a seat. Oh, for Christ's sake, Mark, this is really pathetic. Oh, look, Becky, the sofa bed's sprung open again. <laughs> it doesn't spring open. Oh, it does sometimes, yes, very suddenly. No, honestly, there's a number of times I found myself hanging from the window ledge. And was I supposed to wear this charming little slip? Oh, my God. What are you looking for? I'm not looking for anything. I'm just making sure nothing's naked. I mean, missing. What's <laughs> wrong? Nothing. Yes, there is. You're hiding something. You're holding something back. No, I'm not. Look, it's just an old Freudian. I mean, slip. <laughs> I mean, that's one of mine. Of course it is, yes. One of your old ones. You must have left it in the sofa bed. I don't recognise it. Oh, I do. I don't remember it at all. Well, I do. I never wore this. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? The truth. Why is the bed out? Well, I sleep here now. Why don't you sleep in the bedroom? Well, uh, the bedroom's got, you know, bad memories for me. You bastard! Oh, <laughs> oh Mark. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's my fault. No, no, as if I hadn't no. hurt you enough. No, no, it's a stupid thing to say. Listen, I understand. No, no, it's all my fault. Um, <clears throat> right. Coffee? Right, yes. Good idea. Shit! What? I, I was just going to the toilet. Well, <laughs> you could have found a nicer way of putting it. Oh, sorry. Anyway, haven't you just been? Uh, yeah, but I, I forgot to do something. Well, you know what I mean. You all right? In the bath, you kinky thing. <laughs> you were incredible. You too, baby. Mama! Oh, Christ. I heard more shouting, so I've just been reporting your neighbours to the police. Oh, right. Oh, don't worry. I'm always reporting people. Do you know, the police have started a little file about me. Is it possible to get a copy? <laughs> You don't need to read my police file, Mark. It's all here. Oh, right. <laughs> in you pop. Uh, actually, uh, not yet. I haven't quite finished in the bathroom. It's, it's all a bit complicated. I'm starting to think you're avoiding me. Oh, no, 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 no. It would be the end of my life if I thought you didn't love me. Have you ever heard of the concept of unreasonable pressure in a relationship? Yes, and I don't want to have to use it. <laughs> so do you love me? Oh, yes. Do you want to say so? Oh, say you love me, Mark. I can't. I haven't finished in the bathroom yet. <laughs> oh, God. Mark. Yes? I just want to say I'm really sorry. I'm very confused about all of this. Oh, me too, darling. Me too. I know. 
It's the single most ghastly, appalling situation I've ever been faced with. Oh, Mark, I only want you to say you love me. I only want you to see it's difficult for me as well. Oh, but I do. Why can't you say it then? Mark, how do you feel about me now? Do you love me? I, I, well, I'm in two minds. Oh, Mark, I understand. I'm, obviously, I'm fond of you. But it's not like it was. Oh, no, it is, it is. It is what? Please, be honest. I'm being honest. Well, it's a bit hurtful. Maybe I should go. If you don't feel the way you did, it's probably for the best anyway. No, 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 wait, please, listen. I... Uh, yes, Mark? I, uh... Look, don't put yourself through this. I'm going. I love you! Oh, Mark, I knew you did. Really? Do you? Oh, Christ! Nobody's ever said they love me before. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Hurry up. Let's make love straight away. I don't feel like making love. Why not? It might help. I don't think we ever did christen the sofa bed, did we? Well, maybe I do then. Oh, Mark, you were just teasing. I'll be waiting for you. Hurry up, Mark. Both of them? I can't do both of them. Firstly, I'm only one woman. Secondly, why not as reason? Shh! Put this on. Both of them? Mark! Now, I'm just going to be a few more minutes. Um, I've got to make a longish phone call. It's about a script I've just handed in, you see, and, you know, if, if they like it and start sort of praising it, then I might make some rather loud noises, all right? Well, remember, I'm waiting. Yes, yes, yes. You're next. <laughs> to go the toilet. Uh, oh, OK, all right. Right, now, we're going to have to be quick. I've got to make a phone call. What? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Great <laughs> night. Nice. Spare bedroom for you. Come on. Oh, we could to do it again. Not yet. I'm wanted on the phone. Well, afterwards, then. Not unless you've got a splint. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting for you. Fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to die. Please, God, make it soon. Guess who? <laughs> oh, my God, it'll be Trevor. Don't tell him I'm here. It'll be Robert. Don't let him in. Well, it's got to be one or other of them. How bad can this be? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're either screwing his wife or my wife. We want to know which. No, Robert, I'm either screwing my wife or your wife. He's screwing mine. We just want to know what's going on. I'm trying to think of a put-down for you, Trevor, but what can you do when someone starts off an estate agent? <laughs> Becky, what are you doing here? Making love with Mark. And we've done it four times. And it was wild and savage and wonderful. You'll find my teeth marks all over the bedhead. Oh, my God. Oh, Trevor, I'm sorry. I knew it wasn't Tracy. <laughs> I knew all along. I did. Well, say you're sorry. She's right behind you. Tracy, how can you ever... What are you doing here? Making love with Mark. We've done it six times. Six? <laughs> Ten? Uh, if you guys ever want any tips. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Same as you. Look, as a matter of purely historical fact, may I point out that I have not made love to anyone this evening? Look, we know you've done it ten times. Do you think we're fools? <laughs> Interesting question. No, I have not screwed anyone. Prove it. What do you suggest, Trevor? A sperm count? Well, they're very small, Mark. <laughs> look, look, once and for all, I haven't been to bed with a single woman this evening. Hey, baby. Want to go again? <laughs> I don't know, but on this kind of evidence, they'll probably have me stuffed and put in a display case in the science museum. Look, there's only one solution to all of this, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to go and live somewhere else. There's plenty of milk in the fridge. The gas bill's just about due. I hope you'll all be very happy together. There's a bit of a lack of furniture, but I think you'll find that Trevor and Becky have some stuff which ought to fit in rather well. Goodbye. Trevor, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really confused. Hmm. Oh, Robert, please. Listen. No, 
those puppy dog eyes. <laughs> there are moments of plunging awful certainty when you begin to suspect that what you are about to do is probably the right thing. If you can just talk yourself into it. Oh, go on. Oh, Mark. Leave this to me. Right, listen. That time at the house, nothing happened. God knows I tried to get her into bed, but she refused. Because she loves you. Whether she knows it or not, it isn't me, it's you. She came round tonight because you gave her nowhere else to go. But nothing happened. She was in the bedroom, I was on the sofa bed. Nothing could ever happen. Because she loves you. Got that? And you're a very lucky guy, because she's a very special lady. And it's pretty hard not to be a little bit in love with her. But she's yours, not mine. And you deserve her because you're a great guy. And I wish you all the luck and happiness in the world. <laughs> you took a big man to say all that, Mark. Uh, uh, Mark, what an incredible thing to do. Becky and I were just having a little confab in the bathroom. Started to make up, as a matter of fact. You certainly helped. <laughs> you know, you're really quite a rhythmic talker. <laughs> We're going to go home now. And I'm going to really take care of this woman. Just like you told me to. Thanks, Mark. You made everything so clear. You're a very special man. No, I'm not. I'm a complete bastard. <laughs> what a sweet guy. Come on, Becky. We've got to go. Bye. Oh, and uh, Mark, you're welcome at our dinner table any time. Your dinner table? Bye now. <laughs> Look, what I was saying just there, maybe we could... Mark, I listened to every word you said. <laughs> and I realised what a fool I've been. You've saved our marriage. Oh, Robert. How can we ever thank you? Come on, Robert, let's go home. But, but... Oh, it's all right, Mark. I know you didn't really love me. But I think I did. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> I'm a complete shit. Why does nobody understand me? Oh, you silly. Oh, and you two must come round for dinner sometime. We'll be there. Oh, bye. Uh, bye. Uh, and thanks. remember it if I just had a relaxing moment. Come on, let's sober you up. Don't you want to have sex? No. Do you? Not really. But I'm drunk. Come on, then. If you insist. I'll tell you a funny story about a girl I once met at a funeral. That sounds morbid. It is. Wasn't Helen the Blonde? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we are, Mrs. Taylor. Now, what do you say we go do the married stuff? Again? <sighs> Dying flame Enjoy the best of British comedy every weeknight at 7.30. Monday, the gang from Grace Brothers will have you in stitches in Are You Being Served? The 7.30 Britcoms. Great humour from Great Britain. Weeknights on WPBT2. Now stay tuned for the Emerald City Comedy Hour. Coming up next on Member Vision. you said goodbye.